This video has been edited and actions contained within this video may take longer. If you have a new user or you have an existing user and their machine changes, you may need to install the Sage 200 client on the new machine. To do that, navigate to Windows Explorer and navigate to the path where your Sage system lives. For me, this is within the C drive and within the Sage folder. Within there, you should see an installers folder and within that, either a Sage 200 manufacturing client or a Sage 200 client folder. Select the folder and select the setup file to run the install software. Select install on any prompts and provided you have the ability to install software, the software will be installed. You may need help from your IT if you have user account control turned on within your organization. The install may take a few minutes to complete. When the install is complete, the program will attempt to open. If the user has been assigned company access and they have access to multiple companies, the select company form will display. If the user has access to one company, Sage will open for that assigned company. When the install is complete, the software will open. If the user will be making payments via Sage 200, you will also need to install the eBanking plugin. Navigate to Tools, Installers, Install eBanking Components. Select Run, and if UAC is turned on, you may need your IT to install the software. Once the install is complete, the pop-up will disappear. If the user has been assigned access to Sage 200 System Administration, navigate to the Sage folder, Installers, Sage 200 Administration, and run the setup file. Select Install to proceed with the install of the software. When the install is complete, the software will open. 